So yes, hello guys. So I am back to continue about buying and selling, um, which is always a topic that we talk about over and over on YouTube. And guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe now by clicking the red subscribe button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below as I enjoy reading all your comments and your opinions and thoughts on my videos. Um, however, if you want to join the chatterbox, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join that. And um, also, if you want to buy merch, um, you can do so by the link also in the chatterbox. Now, today I am here with both um, My Willow Asleep and Willow Awake by Claire Teller. Um, Noah is the asleep which is prototype number two and Nigel is the awake which is prototype number three right I think so yeah <laughs> um I sometimes I get it confused but anyway nevertheless um my topic is you know finding the perfect baby so I'm not going to be doing much in this video is more so of a talking video so um <clears throat> I'm just letting you know it's going to be one of those kind of videos. So, um, finding the perfect baby, the perfect reborn, the perfect silicone doll, the perfect cuddle baby. Um, everybody have a preference. Um, let's start with cuddle babies. Um, cuddle babies. Do I personally like cuddle babies? Um, I want to have at least one cuddle baby in my collection. And I think I am actually going to do a cuddle baby of a silicone cuddle baby and a reborn cuddle baby um reason being is because i love dolls and i love collecting and i like to have a variety so it will be nice to just have one of everything i love different sizes and stuff like that that's my personal preference um to collect um and they're a little bit more affordable to collect as well um but for me to collect a whole collection of cuddle babies would not be my thing, but that's my preference. I know some collectors that have like a whole bunch of cuddle babies, which is pretty nice because everybody have their different reasons. Now think about it. You can actually get to see artists work without paying full price. Um, you know, see their skin tone, see how they, they're matting, they're, you know, just different. You can see a lot with the cuddle babies. In just seeing the, the the face of the baby so that's one thing about the cuddle babies now um, you have the reborns the reborns are the vinyl those are the vinyl babies that are made of a soft vinyl which is softer than the dolls that you buy in the store but they are harder than silicone silicone is more like the material that people use for prosthetic, you know, legs and, you know, um, stuff like that or, you know, I don't know, booby implants. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, you know, a very soft, um, it's a, it's a very soft, uh, softer doll. Anyway, so just saying the basics, just in case someone new is watching. I know you, most of you guys already know that, but anyway, so finding the perfect doll. First of all, the perfect doll that's perfect for you may not be perfect for me. So let's get that understood. So for you to say, um, can you help me find my perfect doll? Absolutely not. Um, there are going to be some things that you may not even know that you do not like until you actually see it in real. Or there are going to be some things that you may not like that you may not just want to just come out and say you know i like your doll you know i want a doll like yours but i really don't like the way you, you know such and such is done on it and i won't know that thing that particular thing and i'll be looking for a doll for you and find something and it'll have that thing you know so it's good for you to do your own research it's perfectly okay for you to look to other you know collectors and you know see what's in their collection that you like and who they bought it from and then check out those artists. That's how you start. Of course you look at other people's collection to get an idea. You look at other people's collection, you see what your taste is like, then you see what artists 
that they are buying from and then you research those artists and you follow those artists do you buy the first thing from that artist that they put out absolutely not because a lot of it has to do with the sculpt as well too so you know um i watched an artist for years paint that i've been wanting a baby from them and i'm actually watching an artist now right now as we speak but the artists keep painting sculpts that I absolutely do not want in my collection. And it's so frustrating because I absolutely love this artist's work. And I've even almost bought a doll that I do not particularly like the sculptor's work. But I wanted the artist, I want this artist's work so bad I was almost willing to do it. But the problem is it won't last in my collection. So you want to know, you know, you want to get a feel for what you like. If you like newborn babies you like preemie babies you like bigger babies you like awake babies you like sleep babies um are you a hair person do you want a baby with you know you want a preemie with ponytails down his back or you want you know a baby that's more realistic with just peach fuzz or you know or you were your babies really hairy when they were babies did they have a lot of hair when they were babies and you like that you know all these little things you want to kind of have an idea now you may not get it all in one baby, you know, especially if it's your first time buying a doll. But you want to have an idea that way you are not just blindly buying. Just give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Because then you end up with a bunch of rejects. Um, the other thing is if you're a collector that now you're trying to level up or move to the next level of your collecting and you want something more exquisite in your collecting some collected collection something more rare or let's say you want to move from reborns which is normally or used to be you know the more inexpensive in and then silicones was more expensive but now it's kind of like uh i don't know the reborns are getting as expensive as the silicone but let's say you now want to move from reborns to getting you a silicone baby but you got a whole bunch of reborns and I've done this with several of my friends that have judged me rather they've done it um, you know on the side on the on on a slide with a little shade you know you know sometimes you know your friends serve you that tea you know with no ice sometimes they serve it to you with a little ice light ice but they serve you you know a little shade you know um, Girl, I don't see how you spend all that money on them dolls. Girl, uh-uh, could be me. Girl, I ain't got that kind of money that you got. Girl, your money long. Girl, them heels must be be working for you. Girl, uh-uh. Girl, that baby must be cost you a whole car. Okay, so those kind of friends. Um, <laughs> and that's perfectly okay. We laugh about it. You know, it's, it's all good. I got more than one that does it to me. But... I have actually said, check this out, baby. I want you to go and get all your mediocre. Now, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like that when I say this. But I'm just giving you a little shade with light ice. Let me get go get all your little mediocre reborns. Because I, I, too, have my mediocre reborns. And I have been a collector of below average reborns and mediocre reborns. And very nice reborns. And let me tell you, go get your mediocre ones. Go get your, your nice ones. Even get your low ones. Add them up. Tell me what number you come to. Don't tell me. You don't have to tell me out loud. But tell yourself in your head how much you actually spent on them dolls. Now, you have to do it two ways now. Then you calculate how much you think you can get for them if you sold them. If that number is... The price of the average silicone full body baby that's nicely painted, guess what? You've already spent what the average so-called high-end collector have, was spending at some point. Now, there are some of you guys out here that have very nice reborn doll collections. And you guys are, ah, yeah, I stick with my reborns because... Them silicone babies, ain't no way I'ma spend 10, 15,000, 20,000 on a ah. You got $10 sitting in your collection. Sus. Then you spent $1,400 on that one, 1200 on that one, 800 on that one. 
900 on that one. Another 1400 on that one. You follow me? Oh, that one you got for the low. It looked like it should have been for the low, but you know, you paid 500 for that. Mm, you probably can get two for it now, but you know. Add throw all that in now. Yeah, you pretty much done bought you a high-end silicone baby, but you know, hey. That's when you have to decide. Then here's the other shade that you get with the, that's, 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 that's that shade with no ice. I'm not going to sell nut, all my babies just for one stupid silicone baby. Well, you know what? Guess what? I used to say that saying, I don't want to sell all my reborns for just one baby. Then I'm going to just have one baby. That's stupid. Guess what? So $15 one time. $15 or $16, I think. Might have been more than that. Reborns. For one stupid silicone full body baby. And guess what? Hated it <laughs> when I got it. I ain't gonna lie. But I love the silicone and what I did. Guess what I did though? Then I had all my money in one lump. So that full body silicone baby. For what? Almost what I paid for it. I lost a couple hundred dollars, but not so bad, right? So guess what? Now I got this bank sitting. So all my little reborns were like little bank accounts. And then, so I sold those, that one, one silicone. Then I had one chunk. And then I bought, I put a little bit more money with it. So I got this other one. So I had got a really nice silicone baby. And then, in the meantime, I started by buying my reborns again. Well, guess what? Now I want something that costs a little bit more. By this time, I done build up about six more Reborns. See, that's the thing about Reborns. Reborns, you, you can always get newer Reborns or replace Reborns because they're always coming out with something newer, better. The artist is always getting better. So it's not a big to-do, you know. So it's like, okay. So I now I'm back at about six more Reborns. And plus this nice silicone, baby. Guess what I did again? You got it. You going in a box, 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 and you, baby, unfortunately, you're going in a box. I'm going to be so sad, but you are going in a box, too. And then, guess what? Now I'm up to my $7,000 doll. <laughs> so, you guys follow me in what I'm saying. Some of you guys may not want to do it that way, but you can look back at the history of my channel. See, I'm not one of these people that tell you that I did this and didn't really do it, but you can follow my footsteps and my imprints I left on my channel. So if you go back, I've been at this thing since 2013 on YouTube. At least you can trace me from there. I started out on Facebook a little bit before that, but however, I did get mad one time and delete a few uh, videos in the very beginning, but nevertheless, for the most part, most of my videos are still here from 2013. Okay, um, I got scammed partially, and I got really upset, and I deleted a lot of videos. I was not going to do my videos no more. That's what happened in the beginning. But however, um, you can go back and you can see where I used to have a lot of reborns. Here and there, and I used to do the videos and walk around the room and show you the the dolls and stuff like that. And they say, you know, it was like ghost town. Um, so what I'm saying to you, finding the perfect doll sometimes takes sacrifices, and sometimes it's for me, it's a decision. It's rather if you want one good doll versus you want one good doll or you just want a whole lot of dolls. So you want quality over quantity. Or you want quality, quantity over quality. So do you just rather have rather have five mediocre dolls than just one real good doll? It's up to you. But the thing is, is that for me, just to be able to experience it at least once, it was worth it. And that once I realized that I really, really love the silicone. So, you know, um, I started out with a partial, a cloth body. Um, now cloth bodies are kind of just as much as the full body sometimes. But, you know, for me, some of them are worth it if I really love the sculpt and the painting on it and so on and so forth. And that's another thing. But we'll talk about that in another video, how price come into play and, you know, how do you determine if it's worth it or not? Um, you know, pricing is not so much of an open thing. And, you know, sometimes, you know, 
it's all about market value and all that great jazz. That's a whole nother topic, but we'll talk about that later. And um, thanks guys for watching. This is part two. And uh, maybe we'll do part three live. I keep trying guys, I keep trying, but you know, life just hasn't been on my side. Anyway guys, again, please subscribe, like this video. Let me know what you think about the two boys sitting here together. I just love them boys. I love them. Anyway, guys, again, did I tell you guys to subscribe to this channel? Please make sure you subscribe to this channel, please. Thank you very much. See you next time. Wait, you know what? I think I got a new word. Period, poop.